What's up YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a fix to bring in your third-party plugins into Live if you don't see it already in your plugins folder right there. So as you can see, my plugins folder has nothing. Now, when you freshly install Live, this is probably what you're gonna get, and you have to do this thing to get all your plugins in place. Go to the top left-hand corner where it says Live, go to Preferences, Preferences window will come up, hit File Folder, and then under plugin sources, you're going to select the plugin type that you're using or that's installed on your computer. In my case, I only install audio units. So I'm going to say use audio units, click on, and then they're going to be populated right there in my plugins folder in live. So that's how you do it. Open up preferences, file folder, and turn on the ones you want. And if you use VSTs, click on, on your VSTs. And if you have a custom folder for your VSTs, click on there and you have to browse to the folder. But most of the time, you're either gonna be using audio units or VSTs if you're on a Mac. And if you use Logic, it's gonna be audio units because Logic only uses audio units. So that's how you bring in your plugins into Live if you just installed Live. So let me know if you want more Live tutorials. I'll definitely be happy to do it as I use Live a lot. And as well, Pro Tools, I'm trying to put together uh, Pro Tools tutorials because Pro Tools is sort of the DAW when you go to any studio across the world. But of course, my main love is Logic Pro and I have many tutorials on that and I will continue to do Logic tutorials. For more good videos, remember to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Later.